everybody. This is Diane with Crafting with Fury. I am here with a design team project share for Scrappy Shack and I will leave their link down below. And guys, don't forget, she is having a 15% off of all Halloween through tonight. So if there's anything on Halloween that you've been dying to get, right now would be the time to get it to save 15%. It would be awesome, and she's got all the new Halloween goodies. So let me show you what I created. This is the new Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Halloween Stamp Collection, and this is one of them, and it's unraveled, and she does have these, and I believe she said these are ready to ship out. And guys, I love this little mummy. You get this spider web, this spider web. You get the cute little mummy, the little pumpkin, this big old bunch of bats, and these three sayings, trick or treat, happy Halloween, I'm here for the candy. And this is what they look like on the back. Love, love, love it. And what I used on the background is these uh, Distress Mica Stains. And Scrappy Shack carries these super fun to play with. I hadn't done any in a long time and I absolutely loved, loved, love it. So she has those in her shop and this is what I come up with. I done a huge tack. And as you can see, here is my bats. Here is that big old spider web in the background. And what I did was I stamped it and then I embossed it with this is from her shop distress embossing glaze twisted citrine use that and then what I did was I cut it out just made it a real funky shape and used a pen just to kind of make it like a cartoonish kind of thing and I had this little webbing in my stash and this is my little mummy is he not adorable and I cut him out. He is too stinking cute. And you can see the shine on the background. That's those mica stains. And then here's his little pumpkin. He's going to go trick-or-treating. And then I put some eyelash trim on the top here. I love the way that little tag come out. And he is so cute. And look how easy and beautiful he's stamped out. Just gorgeous so many options you could use with that little critter so this is my first project share and guys I've been dying to do one of these and I finally did one and I'm super excited how this creepy little guy come out I did a vignette coffin box I want to kind of Hopefully you can really see him. Look at this. Is this, I have had a ball. So I run out of the Tim Holtz skulls, but I know that um, Scrappy Shack is getting the new ones in September. So these were just old ones in my stash. This little jar was in my stash, but everything else, um, this um, moss, was in my stash, but everything else came from Scrappy Shack. The vignette box, everything. So let me show you everything that I used, and I just love the way this turned out. Okay, let's see here. Of course, the coffin vignette box, and then the background paper is this right here. It's the Backdrops Halloween. Him ideology so I used that paper in the background and whoops sorry and this baseboards Halloween Tim Holtz ideology scrappy shack collector of curiosities I got that so that's where I got that um, let's see here paper dolls Halloween Tim Holtz ideology. This little creepy guy right there. And oh, here is what the vignette box looked like. 
So that's what I've used. And here is the dripping candles right here. And the candle stands, got one back there. Um, the tombstones right here. And the bird cage right here. That's ideology. And I know that he is coming out with more of the rub-ons. This was from last year that I had in my stash. And that's where this little come in here. And I think, oh, oh, oh. And also I used the grit paste on here on the tombstone. So, oh, and here is came from the baseboards too. I use that here too. So let me show you this. Let me give you the tour of the Collector of Curiosities. And we're gonna to go to the top. And I put some bones in this little jar here. Put some skulls here and inked them. Put some, like that webbing I had in the back. And then here it says, chemist and optish, whatever that says. And then here is those dripping candles. If you can see the candle stick back there and another dripping candle. I put some bones in there. I love it. And here I put some moss in the corner. Here is the bird cage. I put some moss hanging out of it. And I put some bones here. And this is one of those paper dolls. And I popped him up to where it looks like he's got his hand, look, sitting on the tombstone. I used the grit paste on here to make that look really old. And then this is one of the rub ons that says, Is he dead? 1704 to 1786. A glossy accent over this just to kind of give him a shine there. Put some more of the moss and another one of the skulls. And I just painted around with some gray paint and used some black ink just around it. And you can see the, the bones in the bird cage. I love the way this come out. I have been dying. I see everybody's that have done one. I have been dying to create one of these. And I was super excited to do one for Scrappy Shack. Oh my goodness, I just love the way this little creepy guy turned out. I'm super excited. I think I wanna do another one. But guys, if you would like to do one, she's got these in her store. And like I said, if you um, order today, you will get 15% off on all the Halloween. So thank you so very much for stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate it. And guys, have a wonderful week. And may God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.